I need to work on everyday sales. That's what she said to me. So on Wednesdays, I have clarity calls with my clients. And one of the ladies in the circle said, okay, LaShonda, this is my objective for today, okay? One of the things I need to pick your brain about is how do I focus on making everyday sales in my digital business? So I said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a checklist of a few things that I do so you can identify if these are things that you're doing at all that you need to do more, that you need to get started, all the things. So let's jump into it. One of the first things that I talked to her about was entry point offers. Do you have an entry point for people who are just getting started in whatever your area of expertise is, your industry? So for example, with me, people say, LaShonda, I need to figure out how to make money online, create digital products. You got something for me? I absolutely do right? My $7 solutions resource guide. It's $7. It's an ebook. There's a, a challenge that goes with it. There are templates, all the things. So having an entry point offer that you can consistently sell, that's something for you to consider, right? Entry point offers brings me to number two, signature offers. These are things that are staples in your business that sell well for you on a regular basis. Now remember, I'm giving you this checklist as part of my pop-up on my porch series. So save this. Let me know if it's helpful. Tag a business bestie who wants to work on everyday sales too. Uh, by the way, it's your girl, Shonda Henry here, AKA Sister Sense. I have been a digital entrepreneur for 20 plus years now. I have been working at home since I got pregnant with my son. I quit my job. <laughs> I left New York. I live in North Carolina. Uh, I've been basically an entrepreneur for over 20 years now and uh, certifiably unemployable. So um, I can tell you through many, many economic ups and downs, I'm still able to do what I do. So offering you some recommendations on how you can do this too. That's my wheelhouse. <laughs> okay. So generating everyday sales do you have some entry point offers for beginners just getting started do you have signature offers that are staples for you like i literally just said to you this is what a client asked me and wednesdays is when i have my office hours where i do clarity calls i've been doing private one-on-one -on -one clarity calls for years i've done well over a thousand of them and this is a staple in my business it's one of my signature offers so I want you to be able to think about, do you have staples that are consistently helping you bring in revenue on a week by week, month by month basis? Number two, number three for me has got to be baby, continuity, money that keeps coming on in every single month. Two ways that you can have continuity for me, subscription programs and subscription pricing. So I have my Sister Sense Circle, which is my mentorship and accountability group, and we meet pretty much every single week. I've got virtual things going on for my business besties in the tribe. Do you have some sort of subscription-based program? Okay, um, that is one of them, but that's not the only one. Uh, another thing that I have, it's called my Sister Sense Get More Done Services, because I am a web and graphics designer, and not only do I sell web services, that's a staple, that's one of my signature packages, my web services, but then I have clients who purchase services on retainer, so I work with them on a month-by-month -month basis on subscription. So subscription programs is another one versus subscription pricing. What does that mean? The difference is programs are indefinite. Until they cancel, they're in it. Okay, you're working with them, you're doing things for them, you're offering them value. Subscription pricing is when you've got at least a couple of high ticket, high price point premium offers and you break them down into payment plans. So on any given month, I've got people who are in subscription programs, they're paying me that way, or they are paying for a premium package. Um, for example, one-on-one -on -one coaching, anywhere between five to $10,000 with me, right? Some people pay it outright in full, some people break it up in part. So then there are people who are paying for those payment plans on a monthly basis, right? So you've got signature offers, you've got entry point offers, you've got continuity with subscription programs and subscription pricing. These are things you need to consider. Now, right now, it's February, so I've got something called my Love on Your Business Challenge. I do it every year. One of the things that happens in February, Black History Month, number one, <laughs> Valentine's Day, number two. Uh, I'm a sister girl who likes to celebrate both. And uh, Love on Your Business is something that I've been doing for my business besties for years. 
So one of the things that helps me to generate everyday consistent sales in my business is having seasonal offers that I rotate. I don't teach or talk about love on your business every single month, but I do talk about it this month when it comes around. Do you have seasonal offers in your business? Okay. Again, this is a checklist <laughs> of things either that you have uh, maybe you did before that you need to do a little bit more um, or that you've never thought of things for you to consider. Now, like I said, I am doing this quick pop up training for you on my porch <laughs> and it's getting dark. So I'm probably going to wrap this up real quick. Uh, but if you like it, save it. Tag a business besties. Let me know what other kind of topics you'd like me to talk about or teach as far as this pop up on the porch series. Um, and of course, if you have any questions for me, you can ask those too. What other things can I share with you? Seasonal offers, entry point, stable offers, subscription, continuity pro, um, programs, products. So you want to think about products, three things, one time, over time, and ongoing. So what does that mean? When you create products, especially digital products or, um, well, let's just talk about digital products, right? You want to think about, do you have products that people buy and they pay for one time? That's it. Number one. Um, number two, they pay overtime. So like I said, with subscription pricing, they break that thing up into price, um, into smaller price points, and then they pay over several weeks or months. Okay. And then indefinitely. So those are the ones that they just keep paying on a month by month or quarter by quarter, year by year basis until they cancel. Um, so those are some things you need to think about when it comes to everyday sales. Uh, hopefully this pop-up has been helpful to you. Oh, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> feel free to again tag your business besties like and share because this helps me and of course you can repost this too till next time peace